Hello and welcome back to all. Uh, this class about uh, IP addressing. Uh, we are going in depth about uh, some IP address classes. Last class we understood uh, what is IP address scheme. There we understood uh, how many bits are in an IP address and uh, how IP address look like. And uh, we understood what is a minimum value will be there in the IP address and what is the maximum number so if you have already attended class you understood uh, what is IP address scheme so in this uh, what I'm going to tell you under IP address scheme I think uh, you remember in the last class uh, I have done something like this uh, there is a box in that we have 8 bits I'll do it fast if you feel uh, this is uh, just a minute yeah. if you feel this is a uh, slow you please uh, use that uh, YouTube uh, fast playback fast method option to forward to go faster so let me create a box see this is how I teach okay this is how I know to teach so please follow these steps it will be it may slow but uh, you will understand in depth and clearly so as usual here uh, 128 that is a place value right here 128 I'll uh, make it a very clear picture 64 32 and uh, 16 8 4 2 1 these are the place values that we know very well see why I'm doing this method for uh, teaching you and all because this is one of the best method to make you understand subnetting because my my concept uh, there will be a subnetting inside this concept if you want to learn subnetting you must know subject like this only here that's why I'm, I'm following this way so I copy I paste it here these are the 32 bits in this 32 bits divided into four octets these four octets will be there each octet must contain uh, 8 bits we know binary values if you apply zeros in all 32 bits like 0 0 0 you will get the value is 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 yes right uh, if you apply all ones uh, 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so in 32 bits if you apply all ones in 32 bits you will get value this was our last class this is where we stopped okay now this is clear now what we have to understand next thing in IP address there are few classes there are there are total five classes okay so class A class B class C class D and class E there are five classes so first we will talk about class ABC later we will discuss about other classes uh, D and E so every class has a speciality here hmm? every class has a speciality let's uh, come out of the classes if you take any IP address if you take any IP address as an example for example you take one IP address I will write a well-known IP address 192.168.1.1 I hope everybody known to this IP address huh? this is one of the modem IP address 
one of the routers IP address commonly used in every uh, modem uh, routers. So 160, 192, 168, 1.1 is what? This is a IP address. That is what we know. So see here, you take any IP address. No? You take any IP address. There must be two parts. Okay, there are two parts. Two parts in each IP address. No? Two parts. What are the two parts? One is network bits. Okay, one is network bits. Another is host bits. Another is host bits. What is network bits? What is network bits? Sometimes uh, my spell will go wrong. Yeah? Just adjust network bits huh? so what is network bits it is used to identify used to identify identify network ID okay network ID so we can use this bits value to understand the area of the network which means area of the IP address we can say area of the computer area of the IP address if you go with host bits okay if you go with host bits uh, host bits are used to identify 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 mm, what to say we can say host only but uh, I want one more word now to to explain you to identify the uh, computer to identify the IP address in the in the network IP address in the network in the network which network inside this network let me give you a small example hmm, that real life example we all well known to this example let's take care uh, take a number okay I will write some numbers here 801515 see I have randomly written these numbers okay uh, don't try to call all these numbers here I don't know if someone if someone lift no uh, I don't uh, I don't take the responsibility uh, don't call this I'm just taking some numbers here these are the mobile numbers random mobile numbers I have taken if you take if you look at these numbers we have two parts here 801515 is one part 2122 is another part huh? see one part this is the first part second part so we can consider the first few digits the first few digits are using network ID the provider the, the telecom provider service provider identity this this other digits the remaining digits to identify who is a person uh, this is a that that uh, sim identity uh, the person identity 2122 is the person identity under 801515 network so if you want to communicate to this this person you have to know network bits and host bits so network digits and host digits both must be there if you just dial 2122 it will say invalid number if you type only 801515 it will say invalid number okay by combining these two paths will become one contact number so that will be reachable to the person this contains network ID and a person ID, host ID. Similarly, if you take, okay, if you take any, if you take any IP address, there must be network bits and host bits. What network bits used to identify? It is used to identify the network ID. Host bits used to identify the address, host address. We can say IP badala host we can say host address in the 
network i hope you understood so instead of ip address we can say host address in the network similarly if you come back here see these are the ranges of ip address in this range we have five classes okay five classes if you take any class hmm, there must be some network bits network bits and host bits there must be a network bits host bits how many network bits uh, there are if you go with if you go with class a no if you go with class a there are eight bits of network uh, eight bits are network uh, 24 bits are host this is a thumb rule okay this is a thumb rule you cannot change this thumb rule it is a rule that's all if you go with the uh, class b 16 network bits uh, 16 host bits uh. if you go with the uh, class c 24 network bits uh, 8 host bits uh. and if you go for class d and e we will talk later okay we will say talk later In next class I mean next class or um, other than the next class we will discuss later here yeah? uh, I think this is not a right time to discuss because we have not clear about ABC huh? many of you who already who already know knew this address range no they know very well class D and E is a reserved purpose multicasting research purpose but that's the only thing uh, now this is not a right time if you don't know about this D and E IP addresses then just wait we will discuss later now if you take any IP address here if you take any IP address that IP address must come inside within the range no in this range if you take any IP address there must be a network bits a host bits a hmm? you take network bits and host bits now we have to identity which how many network bits uh, how many host bits some of you thinking about this IP address boss I know very well see this 192.168.1 is what the network ID uh, this one is a host IP this is what I know uh, yes it is obviously right those who don't know about these uh, classes and all we will discuss huh? we will discuss now see if you take any IP address uh, let's take one example pa. let's take one example see if you want to uh, have if if you want these uh, notes no the notes which I'm drawing showing uh, um, writing all the pictures if you want uh, this notes you you have to do one thing uh, you have to come to our website um, I have already given the link hosefai.com is a website where you can go and download there you see this page YouTube there you can click the fundamentals of computer networking video link click on it where there you can see all the classes uh, links and uh, uh, notes available to download where you can uh, refer that notes or you can download that notes at this that is up to you so many people many students are asking sir I want notes 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 so that's why I thought to give notes in this way um, in however in the earlier version of uh, videos you no know, like act to direct videos we have uh, we have a uh, um, virtualization videos we have single domain concept videos DNS name resolution videos uh, all the notes will be will be upcoming into in the in the website the video links will be there you please feel free to go there and uh, you can download all the notes over here uh, now why what I came here I came here to tell something let's take one IP address hmm? let's take one IP address what IP address See, this is one IP address 
do you think is IPRS belong to which class any idea do you know this IPRS belongs to which class no? many of you already know you are thinking boss uh, to whom you are asking we know very well see this is 10 either a okay uh, yes I'm absolutely right how do you say the class a that's a question mark some of you looking at this IP you can't identify the sir which is whether class A or class B or class C no right so it is if it is class A if I take this if I use this IP address as a class A which means what is it mean 10 network so which means 10 the first octet and the first octet is a 10 network uh, uh, 10 uh, that is a network ID and the remaining all octets are host address 20 dot 30 dot 40 are the host address 10 is the network bits 8 network bits 8 network bits remaining 24 host bits are you clear I think you have clear uh, no no sir I we I have an IP address 172 dot 16 dot 30 dot 40 if I say like this uh, sorry if it is class B no if it is class B and uh, the first 16 bits belongs to network and the remaining bits belongs to host why because in class B 16 network bits uh, 16 host bits in class A 8 network bits uh, 24 host bits if I take if I take class C address see this is class C in class C there are 24 host sorry sorry 24 network bits uh, the last octet is host bit uh, which means you will be having 24 192.168.1 is a class that uh, IP address network bits and this one is host bits 8 host bits but how did all these came that's a question mark no how these classes will come up so we have to understand very clearly how these IP address and the range come up uh, how I'm telling you this is class A and this is class B this is class C we have some thumb rules okay we have some thumb rules we so we must follow the thumb rules we have to bring some reservation IDs we use that reservation values to bring that range from that range we will identify which class and how what is the range of class A class B class C and uh, we will be understanding that classes IPRS classes in next class and uh, till that you can watch our uh, other videos uh, please wait and you can download all the notes in the uh, our website it's actually um, the today is uh, December 31st in another half an hour uh, new year started if you are uh, anyway wish you happy new year if this already old video just <laughs> uh, ignore this new year wishes and uh, see you bye in the next class thank you